Alright guys, it is a lovely spring evening here in the end times. It is Monday night, somewhere like April 27, 2020. So I am studying for my interview with uh, psychologist Sheldon Solomon on Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to this because... <clears throat> uh, Dr. Sheldon Solomon, to me, has explained the corona panic better than anyone ever, that, that, that anybody I have ever, with all that we have heard, that uh, Sheldon Solomon, I uh, cannot wait to interview him about the corona panic, but anyway, and part of my, part of my research, I have stumbled onto this little, uh, and this little snippet in another interview he was doing. And somehow the subject of Donald Trump came up. And I honestly believe I have found the single best encapsulation of Donald Trump that I have ever encountered. Take it away, Sheldon Solomon, and give us the, uh, just go to the heart of Donald Trump. Take it away, brother. And then they liked him a, a lot more. All right, well, fast forward to 2016. Uh, and, um, you know, Donald Trump uh, comes down the elevator and saying that, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you from uh, the hordes of negrotinous brown people steaming across the southern border. Uh, uh, where there's terrorists parachuting into Buffalo to steal our chicken wings and rape our daughters. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm, I'm the only one uh, that can keep you safe. Uh, and it, it, it frankly didn't matter to half of the people in America. Uh, they were appalled. Uh, you know, they're like, Trump uh, is a vulgar, sadistic, vindictive, pathologically narcissistic, sociopathic, racist, xenophobic, homophobic, misogynistic, functionally illiterate, pussy grabbing, cheese doodle impersonator. And, and they're like, this fucking guy is, you know, just grotesquely ignorant, shockingly incoherent, uh, and congenitally uh, in, uh, incapable of not lying. Uh, well, but to another half of America, uh, they not only didn't mind that, uh, they were enthralled by the, this kind of blustery, uh, pseudo-successful business person claiming that he's going to keep us safe by making America great. Well, be that as it may, and again, it, 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 if this sounds like a political diatribe, it's because it is. I consider him... Uh, only slightly less dangerous than Hitler because he's lazier and less intelligent than Hitler. Mm. But the empirical point is that we did the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, as much as uh, I would love to uh, pick up uh, with this vein when I interview uh, Sheldon, we're going to be talking about the... Uh, Corona panic. I, I am curious, though, to uh, to get his comments on how you, you know how so much of this whole Corona panic thing is a product of the left and the people. You know, who are standing up to the Orwellian police state are often Trump supporters. Now, of course, uh, I agree with every single word that Sheldon Solomon just said about Donald Trump. That is the single greatest description of Donald Trump I have ever encountered. And uh, I guess I'm just one of these weirdos, as are many people that I know, share that view of Donald Trump, but also understand that the statistical chance of dying by coronavirus uh, is about 0.02%, and that 99.98% of people 
on the planet are not going to die by coronavirus, and you do not need to be a Donald Trump supporter to understand that the economic Orwellian police state lockdowns are a bigger threat to people's lives, humanity, and ultimately our fellow earthlings. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I cannot wait. This ought to be a fun interview, but uh, since we probably will not be discussing Donald Trump in my interview, I just wanted y'all to hear that little snippet. I'm back to my research on clueless, panicked sheeple. Bye, guys.